G'day guys and girls, it's uh, Jason here again um, with the rear mount turbo. I have another another chat. I like my chats. Now today I want to talk about brakes. Um, the drums that I've had a bit with brakes. These things are not pulling up, not doing the job, understandably. Only 270mm single piston old school, right? That's what they came factory. So uh, they're not real good. I've had a bit of dramas with them. You know, you know making a little bit of power. The brakes are, uh, are not doing the job. But anyway, there's a picture of the old ones. Now I've, I've just went and bought the other week a set of, they call them hopper stoppers. It's a crowd on the mainland. And um, they do a brake upgrade to these, which is a 330mm rotor. Um, a twin piston caliper. Now these need 17 inch minimum size rims. So, you know, that's that's the minimum. I think they make smaller ones, maybe 300s. <coughs> you know, and I'm not sure on the sizes for 15s or 16s, but I know 330mm is a minimum 17 inch. Uh, they're a DBA a slotted rotor which they don't look too bad they call them a race and road series uh, they call it a kangaroo paw which is uh, I'll show you there look this is just for anyone that wants to to um, go into the discs a little bit further that's them there they call it a kangaroo paw um, just to dissipate heat a bit better yeah so these are a they call them a, a club spec road and race series, and I think it's the 400, um, the 400 series. So yet to be tried, but they're not a bad looking looking um, disc. Anyway, so now you need a. They supply you with a twin piston caliper, which is a PBR. Uh, that's them there. And they're out off, believe it or not, they're a Ford. Um, a Ford caliper, of an AU2, they call them. And, well, look, I've got a Ford 9 inch, why not throw a set of brakes on it as well? So, here's the old one there, 270mm versus the 330. A lot bigger. So I just sort of just throw this little vid up just for anyone that's um, I don't know, wants to have a, a brake upgrade or looking into one. Hopper stoppers. And it's not a plug for them, it's just that they're a really good crowd, really easy to deal with. And for what you get you get your <coughs> you get a hub, you get all your bearings, and there's a seal behind it. And you get a mounting caliper mounting bracket, which is two there. Those two, two of them, one for each side. Bolts, uh, well, some sort of look, look like you know, decent washers, full spaces, copper washers, the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, brake lines from the from the caliper to the chassis, and braided. Versus the old original rubber ones, reinforced rubber. So it's a big, it's a big gain there. And you, get, you even get a new cap, <laughs> the hubs, grease cap. So yeah, there's a the hub there, and um, the brake pads, of course, are over here. Which I did some googling on them, and I asked for some some reasonable ones. And um, yeah, had some good reviews on them. So we'll get to see. But uh, the trouble is I had with the bigger wheels, when you go to the bigger wheels, it, you just don't get the clamping force. They're just too small. It's like gearing gearing your car up. You know, these little discs here versus the 17 inch rims, they're just, oh, they're hopeless. They're okay, but they're not really what I want, or what I need. So, yeah, big difference there. They look really nice. So, um, yeah, I just sort of throw this up and 
share it with you. Okay, I better keep moving on it. Thanks for watching. Bye.